Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. We are going to see a process of and public auditing for a secure cloud storage in a privacy reserving technique. Let's see the abstract of this process. Our main core of the process is to audit the data which has been outsourced to the cloud and also we introduced in this paper as an efficient public auditing process in which TPA act as a middleware which is helps to check the integrity of the outsourced data. So for this we have implemented um, data security algorithm like AES, advanced and Christmas standard and uh, uh, for the data security and for checking the data integrity process we have implemented the MAC and the signatures for checking the verification of the data which uh, in the name of HMAC code and also by means of the MAC code we can enhance the data integrity of the cloud data. Next we are going to see the process flow of this process. First the step of this auditing process to generate the keys in which we have to secure the data. So key generation um, which is done by the AES algorithm in which the keys 16-bit um, hexadecimal keys are generated and uh, after that we are going to map the keys to the fi respective files so for that uh, we haven't taken the entire um, uh, file or as it is so for that we have to uh, split the data into block by blocks in which uh, we are going to assign the keys to the files and after the uh, splitting of the data into blocks we are going to encrypt the each and every block and store it in the cloud both the cloud on the cloud server and into the um, tp third party auditor so after that uh, the data integration happens by um, by the tp validation in which uh, tp going to validate the data uh, and uh, uh, by by sending the by generating the data integrity proofs from uh, and and getting the data integrity proofs from the uh, cloud server and also the he he got the data and uh, he also sends a request to the data owner in which uh, both uh, he he is going to audit uh, both the data got by the got from the uh, data owner and the, from the cloud server and he is going to validate the data by using the signatures under the data integrity proofs and after that uh, the successful validation of the data at last uh, we are going to perform the, um, the uh, data dynamics in which uh, um, the data can be updated at any time from the cloud server and at last uh, batch auditing which is can be done by from by any number of users can be audited simultaneously next we are going to see the implementation part of the process first uh, we separate the three um, packages and private data owner and uh, tpa and also the cloud server so we keep it as in three packages first we i am going to run the privacy uh, data owner the package in which uh, uh, data owner going to perform the operations first run the home.java once uh, give the run file just first uh, go, uh, I'm going to access the client just uh, give the browse process in which you are going to select any file for example I am selecting on text file here uh, so once you select that way it shows the directory and the file name now after that we are going to uh, tokenize the each and every file here uh, the whole file f will be represented here all uh, the contents are displayed here here all the contents are displayed here next we are going to tokenize the file uh, just we are going to split it out in three parts so we are going to split it as in three blocks once the data uh, blocks has been uh, done and after that we are going to generate the key for that just uh, generate the key using that AES algorithm and uh, the keys are generated as a 16 bit hexadecimal code then after that we are going to give the data security just uh, click the process button in which uh, we are going to perform the data security here we apply the encryption here and after that, once the encryption is done so we are going to view the content and after that it has been stored um, and after that we are going to generate the verification metadata for for generating the signature uh, this signature will be later used for the data verification just uh, click and show here the MAC code, uh, the signature code has been very 
generated here now after that you show uh, here you can see where the original files will be kept here the three files uh, the data blocks have been separated and after that uh, the encrypted file can be also listed here and after that once you click the keys here also you can the uh, key files will be stored here once the data owner process is done just uh, next we are going to store the this encrypted data content to the cloud storage so for that you just uh, open extra uh, expand the storage package you just run send files cloud.java just give run file of send files cloud.java now after that go to that package of uh, cloud server under that you just expand the cloud storage just run the cloud server.java once you run the cloud server.java you will get to this give this to here you can you how to give the uh, IP address of the cloud server for example I am here entering the uh, just uh, local lo host IP that is the uh, run this is the IP of the local host uh, you can run this all this process into three systems so uh, here I am entering uh, all uh, run uh, running all the process in a single system that's why I am keeping the uh, IP here just uh, entering the IP here you have to give the cloud server IP in which if you want to run in another system just give get original you send original so just give get encrypted give send encrypted so, so here the encrypted files are sent and stored now after that encrypted files successfully stored in the cloud server here now now after that you can able to see that uh, the the data which has been stored in the cloud server here you can uh, tend to see that a file has been stored successfully stored in the cloud server once uh, the data storage has been done in the cloud server we are going to um, store the encrypted data in a TPA for that you just expand the TPA st uh, package in that uh, derive, uh, in that uh, data owner package you, uh, just run the send files TPA send files TPA.java now after that uh, you just go uh, go to the another package uh, the TPA uh, work here you can find the TPS um, package under that you just run the TPS storage here we are going to see the see here we are going to store the data encrypt data into the TPA so for that you just uh, uh, just click this button and uh, just here enter here enter the IP address of the data owner uh, for that I am just keeping that is a uh, local IP here just give encrypted and show data here so your data will be shown and it uh, that uh, encrypted data your data owner's encrypted data will be stored in a successfully in a uh, TPA middleware and after that you can able to see the data of the TPA here so once, it has, uh, once uh, we have uh, now up to now we have stored the data successfully on the both the cloud server and also the TPA next we are going to uh, do the validation process between the cloud server and the TPA further you just expand that uh, uh, cloud server uh, package under that you will find server underscore TPA you just run the cloud server TPA so we are going to do the validation process and, and likewise you have to go to the TPA package in which you find the um, auditing package you have to run the TPA auditing.java once you get these two forms you just keep it as an here here also uh, you have to uh, mention the cloud IP address just I am entering the local IP here here just enter the any file name uh, which you are going to perform the auditing process I am just giving any file name here for example I am giving file2.txt because we have tokenized into three parts so I am just entering that file2.txt uh, and after that the user IP address respective IP address will be given so here you can give the get request and the send request here that uh, details that uh, TPA entered details will be uh, sent to the uh, cloud server here now and after that give uh, the server will send the response to the TPA here the uh, TPA will check the requested file is available 
uh, and he go is going to validate the process here uh, in the in, in the TPA you just enter the IP address of the user and the cloud IP uh, here uh, the TPA will retrieve the content TPA content here uh, his uh, signature code his generated signature code and also uh, the cloud content his signature code here he is going to verify data using this signature so um, the received data is valid because no uh, modification has been done no modification has been done here so that's why the data has been valid uh, verified successfully and after that just click it shows that uh, contents are same so our stored content outsource content has been verified successfully because no modification has been done on the cloud server once we perform the auditing process we are going to see a data dynamic process for that you just go to the uh, data owner package here you can expand uh, for that you can expand the updating uh, uh, package uh, where you find the user modification dot java yeah so here you just enter the file name in which you are going to perform the data dynamics for example i am entering the file tree dot txt and after that you just going to uh, give the request to that uh, we have to give the request to the cloud server just click the request to the cloud server here uh, you find the uh, the server dynamics you, uh, in that uh, under that uh, cloud storage package you, s you will find the cloud server dot java just run it and uh, give accept here uh, the cloud server request has been accepted and after that uh, we just uh, give the send button here uh, the data owner receive the data data owner got the data and uh, data owner going to edit the data here for example I am going to uh, insert uh, any data for example I am inserting any data and I am just save the uh, file and after that I am going to encrypt the saved uh, in, um, change the data that is a dynamic data I am just edit the data and save it as an encrypted form and after the save the data in encrypted form I am just going to send the modified uh, file to that uh, cloud server and also both the TPA this is the I am going to send the updated data to the both the cloud server and also the, uh, the modified content to the TPA and just click the cloud server and after that uh, you will find the package in the cloud server package server dynamics just click uh, get modified uh, and run the file here you just enter the IP here just give the get and save it here your uh, data owner's modified content has been saved in the cloud server uh, once it has been st stored in the cloud server you just uh, do uh, we are going to send the updated data to, to the also to the TPA just click TPA here and uh, you also go to the uh, TPA package uh, where you find the dynamic package under that you just run the get modify underscore TPA here uh, here you can enter the IP address here just uh, here the IP address of the data owner just give get and here here also your um, modified data owner's content has been changed and updated in the third party auditor so all through the process we have uh, successfully um, audit the data the outsource data in the cloud and also TPA has been, uh, verified the data using the uh, uh, signatures by using the HMAC protocol and also uh, by using the data integrity proofs by means of uh, the auditing protocol we have successfully verified the data and also we do the data dynamics operations successfully using uh, the algorithms like AES and HMAC uh, data and also using gener uh, signature generation we have uh, audit the data successfully thank you for watching